So I'm working on a new track at the moment, and I thought I'd share my process as I work through it. Uh, the first thing I did uh, just now was record a beatbox track. Let's hear what that sounds like. What I'm going to do next is splice that up a bit, take out some sections I don't like. I'm going to keep it mostly the same, and then I'm going to add some guitar or keys or bass. Uh, let's see what happens next. Okay, so I've just finished recording keys for the whole track. That's going to establish the feel throughout, but it's also going to determine the harmony, so I know what the chords are going to be as I add other instruments. So here's what some of the keys sound like. Between the keys and the beatbox, I've also worked out this little middle section that's going to be a breakdown with some solos. You just heard what it sounds like without solos, and you'll hear some solos added in later on. The next thing I think I'm going to do is record bass, so let's get that set up. One thing I did while recording the bass was I notated all the things that I played on the piano, all the chords, so I wouldn't have to rely on just my ear and my memory of what I played. Now I've finished recording the bass, it's time to record some guitar. <laughs> Alright, the guitar is done. I'm going to record a quick iwi melody. And then you can hear the finished track right now. Hopefully you like that. As you can tell by my change of attire, the change of uh, lighting and my clean shaved face, it is the next day. I wrote and recorded that track entirely last night. Um, if you liked, it's going to be an exclusive download on my Bandcamp. Uh, there's a link in the description to that. Uh, but I also have a lot of other music on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Apple Music, all those platforms. There's links to that in the description as well. Hopefully you like this little video, um, some behind the scenes on some production. I'll be doing this kind of thing again soon. So definitely feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel if that's something you would want to see again. Um, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.